hi guys welcome to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can do the descriptive analytics in tableau so descriptive analytics is a very important step before you actually do or implement the machine learning task so in machine learning what you do is you create a model by selecting a variable but it is very important to understand for you whether a variable is significant or not by visualizing it and we have the here four different visualization technique which is histogram scatter chart correlation matrix and box plot chart to really analyze the data so what i'll do is i'll create uh, i'll divide this video into two parts first we'll look at the histogram and scatter chart and then we will look at correlation matrix and box plot chart all right so let's go to tableau here I am, uh, sorry, here I am on a tableau and in this tableau what I have is uh, the sales field, the quantity and the profit and discount, all of those different fields. And in the show me, here we have the uh, histogram and it requires only one measure as, as you can see down there that for a histogram you need to have one measure. So what I'll do is I'll select the quantity, for example, and come here and click it over here. And here I have the histogram. And as you can see, wherever the quantity is between this value and two, so between uh, zero and uh, between two and uh, three and a half, so one and a half and uh, three and a half, the quantity is high. That means this is the quantity which is being ordered a lot. So on the y-axis, you have count of quantity. On the x-axis, you have bins, the actual value of the quantity. So 0 to 1 quantity, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So this is basically a way by which you can interpret a histogram. Also, you have a way by which you can change the uh, bins. So if you come over here on the dimension, this bin will be by default created for you. And uh, you can click on this pill and uh, click on edit. Once you added it, you will find the size of the bin. So what you can do is you can specify the bin. Let's say I want to specify 2 and click OK. And if you will see now it is 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, all of this. So between 2 to 4, my value is higher. Similarly, if I go back and click on edit, I can keep on changing the value. Also, it has a way by which you can dynamically select the value from the front end and create it also you can look at the different fields like profit bin size like top customers to create a bin but for now we will go it manually and uh, you know see this thing in action if i want i can change it even to five and click ok and this is how my chart will be converted so it's it's a matter of uh, you know how many bins that you need to create uh, what I suggest is, is basically start with at least uh, based on your data, you know, since it is quantity, the value is somewhere around maximum value, as you can see, is 15. I think having a bin size of 1.5 to 2 or maybe x maximum 3 makes sense. But uh, there are different other types of data sets and uh, it can have value even in thousands. So the bin size bill will by default increase like 100 or maybe 200, who knows. So it's, it's kind of an experiment that you need to do. And once you become an experienced uh, it, it, with the data and with the histogram, you know, this things by default comes to you after just looking at the distribution of data at the default size. So you can start with the default size, which, which was uh, suggested by Tableau and then move ahead. Now, uh, what I'll do is uh, I can create a scatter plot, not scatter plot, I think if I go back, and uh, I want to create the scatter chart. Okay, so here I have the another sheet, sheet three. I just clicked on this. So what I can do is uh, I can take uh, sales on rows and maybe quantity over here, and I can see just one uh, circle. So this is a form of a scatter chart, but not really a scatter chart because there are thousands of data points. So what has really happened over here that it has been aggregated and that's why you are just seeing the one. So what we can go do is uh, go into the analysis and uncheck. 
its aggregate measure and now you can see the different quantities and as expected you know the two or three or four quantities are being the highest whereas I can see that over here there is one outlier over here similarly on quantity 6 this is the one outlier so in case of outlier also this is a great analysis uh, to do so another thing I can explore is I can just remove the quantity and I will select profit and now you can see the negative and positive profit about what is what is happening so if you want even you can select and try to see what is going on over here and only this part will be selected you can press escape to come back to a normal stage so like this you can keep experimenting uh, I have removed the profit but I want to now see it from a discount perspective here are my discounts: 0% 10% 20% uh, here in case of 50% discount what is this value I can simply select this and uh, get the idea about it so this is this is a way by which you can create a scatter plot matrix and get more idea about uh, the the variables and uh, how they are influencing uh, you know your analysis so that you can do on all of the different numeric variables that you will have and get the idea about it so that's pretty much all I have for you in this video and in the next video I will cover rest of the two topics.